Good morning. Thank you for joining us for Up to the Minute. It's Friday, December 1st. It is World AIDS Day, so let's all take a moment to think about that. It's been many years of recognizing that, so lots to talk about today. I'm Randy Ramsey, Executive Director of Southwest Alternate Media Project, HCC Film Faculty, and I'm stepping in for Todd today, which are some pretty big shoes to fill, and as usual, my hair doesn't look nearly as good. Joining me as my co-host this morning is Montrose Cunningham, HCC Northwest Community Outreach Coordinator. And how can they find us online? Montrose, good morning. Good morning. Um, And let me just say it's December 1st again, and that means the countdown begins. Just got to say. Fair enough. You work for HCC, you know, (laughs) we're counting down um, to that holiday break. So you can find us on uh, live on Houston Community College District Facebook page, not the HCC page, and YouTube. We're also on X, the platform formerly known as Twitter, on LinkedIn, and on HCC TV at noon, 5, and 10 p.m., Monday through Friday. Well, I don't know about you, but I've got some very hot and heavy weekend plans. So anything good going on? Um, Let's see. Um... No. Uh. (laughs) (laughs) Well, then, you know what? We have an awesome show today. I I was going to try to come up with something, but, you know, no, uh, actually, no, my my family, kids, we're we're just kind of chilling this weekend because it's thanks that Thanksgiving break was was hectic. So, yes, I had 16 people at my house for dinner after spending five days sleeping in a tent. So (laughs) I think the house is still dirty. And it will be for a while. But today we're spotlighting Coleman's Occupational Therapy Program. And joining us for that is Renee Shepard, the Program Director of Occupational Therapy at HCC Coleman College for Health and Sciences. Good morning, Renee, and welcome. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Oh, I'm super excited. I love this program. So um, we're going to talk to you in about 10 minutes because we're going to start the morning with my good friend, my partner in crime. Centrell Reed, who is the Director of Business Development for Creed Global Media and the President and Chair of the Board of the International Entertainment Partnership, with whom Swamp Partners an awful lot. Good morning, Centrell. How are you? Good morning, Randy. Good morning. I'm so excited to be here. This is pretty exciting. First day of December. It went by too fast. Yeah, it's been, I feel like we, the Houston Media Conference was in August and that was two weeks ago. That and part. it's been, it's been boom so fast this year, but, Absolutely. and we have so much going on as do you. So I'm super excited because we collaborate on the Houston media conference on the holiday party. We collaborate a lot. Absolutely. But folks at home, you should know that what you can't see is that Centrell has the most excellent shoe game of anyone in town. And uh, I just really have to work on my, project. But before we get, you know, into the business stuff, we're hosting a party next week. Let's talk about that. We are hosting a party next week. And it has been what, four plus years that we have collaborated. The International Entertainment Partnership has collaborated with Swamp as our first partner, right? Holiday party that brings the entertainment industry in Houston together. Because yes, there is an entertainment industry in Houston. And we want to make sure that it continues to grow as we have seen through our work together over the last few years. Um, Yet we brought in other organizations to partner with us. So every year we're having this holiday party in December. Ours is December the 8th at 7 p.m. And we host it at a studio. This year it's going to be at Story Hive in East Downtown. And we bring together, this year it's Houston Cinema Arts Society, Houston Media Source, uh, Swamp, uh, the International Entertainment Partnership, and with Houston, so Women in Film and Television Houston, and we're super excited to just have what, food, drink? I mean, it's gonna be yeah. amazing. The space is like 10,000 plus square feet. It's it's gonna be a lot of entertainment good stuff. Yeah, it's gonna be a great opportunity to network. We've got Boombox Taco there. We have you know wine and beer, and we've got a great DJ. It's a particular favorite of mine. So, you know, good chance to network and dance and have some fun and enjoy some festive holiday feels, which I think is great. For sure. And you get to bring a toy. We are benefiting as we do every year, charity. Um, So Boys and Girls Club and, of course, 
Any gift that you donate goes under a wonderful tree, which we transport to the Boys and Girls Club so they can have an amazing Christmas this year. So definitely come out. And they can also go on our website. Oh, Central Froze Social Media, IEP, greater H-O-U dot org. Hmm? Oh, you froze up for a second there. So I was going to, I was just going to repeat your website. Oh, IEP, greater H-O-U dot org. Or you can go to IEP, greater H-O-U or even what Swamp Film, all of our social media pages and websites have the information for you to get a ticket, get your toy and come out. Absolutely. And that will be in the post after the show for sure. So you were talking about bringing together the Houston film industry and the larger entertainment industry. So let's talk about like what is really great about Houston's entertainment industry. Oh gosh, there's so many things. And we are like the hidden gem of you know, entertainment industries, which is crazy because we have 2.3 million people, 7 million in the greater Houston area, about 130 plus thousand people are in the creative economy in Houston. And our entertainment industry is still growing. So when you think about that, we are five times the size of Georgia or Atlanta, we're four times the size of Austin. So we're definitely poised to do great things. We have the most amazing landscapes and locations you can get everything from the bayou to a, a look like you're in the West. You know, you've got the swamps, you've got the big city look, metropolitan look. I mean, we can go on and on about what Houston has to offer. It's not just cowboy boots and hats. So we need people to know that, right? Well, um, and we have great assets here. We have uh, Captive Creative with their digital studio. We have places like the Story Hive that have uh, great spaces to rent. We even have Panther cars. So like we have everything. Um, And I wanted to ask you because you particularly involved in distribution. So you uh, Creed streams and is an avenue for streaming. So let's talk for a minute about that before we have to wrap up. Oh, for sure. So Creed Global Media, we offer strategic communications, marketing media, and we are unique that we develop apps and stream directly to smart TVs all around the world globally. We are happy to say that HCC did have some streaming relationships with us. So you'd see some of the shows that you're watching now on our television network, which gave bigger visibility. And that just allows for you to be able to see sports, obviously television shows, films. We stream for city governments. We stream for the entertainment community. And the bigger piece for them is that they get to monetize from the first view. So you're not waiting the 4,000 hours on YouTube or all the other social platforms. And you also get to go direct TV and we're direct to smart TVs. The other piece is we develop the apps for you and our team will manage it for those who have streaming platforms that just aren't performing. Right? You're getting views. You have to run out and get your own ads. We take care of all of those things for you. And we utilize that relationship to plug a gap in the city of Houston and their entertainment industry, because you can build a project, you can have a television show. Or a right, you can. And we have no distribution and nobody sees it. Right, so you can do this great film, but who's gonna see it? So you need to have an opportunity available to you to go ahead and distribute it. But Absolutely. I wanted to ask you uh, one fun last question. Anything oh, yeah. coming out in the holiday season that you're looking forward to seeing? Movies? Yeah. Oh my gosh, who has There's... who has the time to just sit and binge? I always like to watch, like, I don't even want to say it. I like to watch some of the oldies and goodies. I definitely would probably get a Coming to America in the first one because I enjoyed yeah. it. And then, of course, of course there's going to be some Die Hard days. These, these are not really Christmas movies, even though there's a Christmas um, Die Hard, and, and we tend to watch those. Yet anything that will allow me to relax, I'm absolutely down for we have busy days, as you know, Randy, so they mm-hmm. go very, very long. You don't get a lot of downtime. Yet, I would even recommend checking out some of the Houston grown talent and content. I mean, you have a number of people who have created movies from here. The Lost Husband that came out of Six Foot. Um, we have Jenny Waldo, who is an HCC yeah. family, and she has her movie Acid Test. Check those Which is those streaming out. now. But I yeah, also will exactly. tell you, that if you're a diehard fan, John Woo has a new Christmas action flick coming out. So you should check it out because it's John Woo and guns. And where could we go wrong? Oh, well, there you go. So I love that. And maybe some laughter. 
I know Zainab Johnson just came out with her comedy special and she was just here in Houston for the first time. And I would recommend checking it out. I think she has amazing energy and there's nothing wrong with a little laughter during the holidays. Absolutely. I really appreciate you being here and I'm super looking forward to the part to the party next week and to all the collaborations we have going throughout the year. So I'm also just looking to see what you wear. I'm going casual creative this year. Well, we're going to be a little festive, so we'll figure it out. I, I never know to the last minute. Um, yet <laughs> feel free, connect with us on Cree Global Media um, or IEP Greater HOU or Central Read on social media. You can find all the details. We would love to see you, meet you, and grow our entertainment industry together. Thank you so much for having me, Randy. Thanks for being here. And with that, Montrose, I'm going to turn it over to you. All right. I, I'm loving the non-traditional Christmas movies. I like the Christmas movies, but uh, my sister and I actually have a tradition every year. We watch Trading Places, uh, Eddie Murphy's Trading Places. Uh, Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> so good. So, yes. And speaking of which, tonight, uh, my kids want to see the new Eddie Murphy movie that comes out today with Tracy Ellis Ross. And it's a new Christmas movie. So Anyway, moving on to Renee Shepard, Program Director of the Occupational Therapy Assistant Program at HCC's Coleman College for Health Sciences. Thanks for joining us, Renee. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? I am doing well. So um, I'm, I'm glad we're talking about this because uh, I was just at a conference, uh, the State of Healthcare, and they were talking about how so many times we don't realize all the... Um, uh, positions that are available in healthcare. You know, growing up, it was like you can be a doctor or you can be a nurse, mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, let's begin with you explaining uh, exactly what occupational therapy is and why so little is is really known about it. Um, so yeah, it's sad that there's still so little known about occupational therapy. We've been around over a hundred years, um, and pretty vital to the rehab world. So. Occupational therapy helps people do whatever it is that you need to do. We Occupations, I think, is what throws a lot of people off because they automatically think a job. Mm -hmm. But no, every, every little thing you do each day is an occupation, such as getting dressed in the morning, washing your face, brushing your teeth, going to the bathroom. Depending on what age group you are, we all have things that are considered our kind of occupations. For kids, it's play and going to school. As you get older, um, doing jobs and all of those things are considered occupations. Mm -hmm. So we help individuals be able to basically participate in life. Um, and uh, still, why we're so let few known, I, I'm not exactly sure. I did attend a conference a couple years ago that said they feel like occupational therapists are just really uh, humble and don't like to kind of toot their own horn. And we're not out there talking about, OK, this is what we do. We give all the credit to the patients and all of the people that we serve instead of talking about this is what OT is. Yes. And I, I could tell you, I, I could just rattle off. Uh, people that I know personally who have had occupational therapists from my you know, mother-in-law who had surgery mm -hmm. and had to, you know, have someone to come in to help her start walking again and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, I think that it's really important that we let people know, you know, that you all are out here and what you do. So tell me a little bit about HCC's OTA program. Uh, so occupational therapy, there's two different degree levels getting into that. You can go in with a master's or a doctorate degree or an associate degree and be an assistant. And that is the program that we offer here at Houston Community College. So it's a two-year program, well, 22 months, a little short of, of two years, where um, we deep dive into theory of how the body works, what interventions and all of those type of things. We have partnerships with a lot of people in the medical center because we are located in the heart of the, the Texas Medical Center. So they have some great opportunities here um, at Coleman to explore the profession and the many different areas that there are because um, we focus on hospitals, um, some mental health, as well as some community-based practice areas. 
Okay. So I guess being in the medical center also helps students to find work after they complete their courses. Yes, honestly, because we do their clinical rotations in the last semester, probably 90% of our students have a job or have been offered a job before they leave the program. Okay. Uh, what can someone do to find work as an occupational therapist other than, you know, being associated with the program and being connected? Um. Really being connected is the best place. Now you have to finish a program, get your certification, um, be, become licensed in the state of Texas. But HCC offers um, like job finding services as well. But really and truly connections is your best place to getting those jobs that you're actually looking for. Okay. And if someone's interested in the program, uh, what do they need to do? What's the First, attend an info, come and attend an information session. If you go to the um, HCC website, on the occupational therapy, I host info sessions once a month. It is the, the, the second Tuesday of every month from 12 to 1. I will break down all of the requirements, the prereqs that are required to get into the program. I go over all of the needs, the cost, and everything that they need to know to be able to actually apply to be enrolled in the program. Okay. Now, you know, I'm the I'm a community outreach coordinator. I'm out there all the time. I meet with uh, teens and, you know, graduates and parents. And something that I'm always asked about anything is how much money, <laughs> what kind of income uh, could uh, someone expect in, in this industry? You know, we make a great salary, especially for an, an associate's degree. Um, the average salary in Houston is about is thirty four dollars an hour, or about sixty seven thousand a year. That's in the Houston area. Now that depends on which field you decide to work in, because schools, unfortunately, if you want to work in the school district, that pays a little less than if you wanted to work in the hospitals or things. New grads can come out expecting to make around, my newest grads are coming out making about $28 an hour. Wow. So. That's much more than I made when I got out of I, college. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and I find it interesting that you talk about, uh, you were talking, referring to earlier about uh, how to just do certain things. I recently um, injured my wrist um, playing tennis. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing that you don't really realize how much you use certain parts of your body just for, I mean, it, it was my wrist. I'm like, oh, my wrist right. is sore. But then right. next time I went to pick up my phone and, and text with one hand, I was like, oh, this hurts. you like, ouch. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I really think that it's, um, it, it's, it's really fascinating, all the different aspects of uh, occupational therapy that, you know, people could get into. Yes, yes. Yeah. And I mean, that's just a small portion of it. There's so much that we can do. There is the mental health aspect of OT. You mm -hmm. can work with kids. You can work with adults. You can even do home modifications with the new aging in place mo moment there are out there. So mm -hmm. there's it's diverse. You can do anything without even having to do another degree. Mm -hmm. Okay. And before we, we let you go, uh, something I always find interesting to ask people, mm -hmm. how did you wind up in this field? Ooh. Um, so my mom was a nurse, so I was drugged to every job that she went to. So for summers, you know, you're out of school, this is where you go. And like you mentioned, it was before doctor or nurse, and I knew I didn't want to be a nurse. Mm. Um, so it was volunteering and looking at therapists in the rehab field and I saw OT and OTs were doing cooking. They were doing crafts. They were decorating Christmas trees. And I'm like, you know, that's what I want to do. Okay. I wanted to do that part of it. Mm -hmm. Well, great. Well, thank you, Renee Shepard, Program Director of the Occupational Therapy Assistant Program at HCC's Coleman College for Health Sciences. And we'll have your info in the post after the show. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. This is the best part of this show is that I get to hear about all the programs we have, and there are so many. I My own son, after cancer treatment, even as a little kid, got OT that was hugely helpful. Mm. Yeah, it's it's uh, always interesting for me just to hear, you know, how vast 
the potential of certain program, you know, programs are. So this was sure because I thought, OT, that's for people in nursing homes, right? And they exactly. were like, no, no, it's your kid can't walk. Job. He has no balance thanks to his chemo. We can help yeah. with that. Right. And I, I like that she also mentioned the mental health aspect of it because we don't always talk about that. And mental health right now is, is such a huge issue. Um, so well, good. which which brings us to our announcements because uh, Mind Body Mondays is coming up. Um, HCC counseling. Wang. Thank you. <laughs> like a pro in Greatner partner partnership with uh, NAMI Greater Houston. Uh, HCC counseling is launching Mind Body Mondays to focus on breath work, mindful walking, chair yoga, gentle stretches, aromatherapy. Noon to one, Monday, December 4th, virtual. And I was just listening to a podcast from NAMI, the National Association of, I think I want to say it's mental health counselors, but they uh, they were talking about the mental health crisis in America. And I think it's important that we are working on it and that our counseling center is available for our students all the time. Mm -hmm. yep, it's important. Um, also, the Central Chamber Singers Fall Concert. You don't want to miss this HCC Central Vocal Ensemble Concert led by Director Kamala Ross. And that's uh, Tuesday, December 5th from 7.30 at 7.30 p.m. at HCC's Heinen Theater. Uh, it's free, but registration is encouraged. And you can check out our post uh, for more information. And they have another recital on Thursday at seven, also at the Heinen Theater, which is the honors recital. Uh, it's the final concert for the music majors selected to showcase. Um, and those were recommended by the private instructors across voice and instrumental disciplines. Should be great. Again, it's free. Registration is recommended. But, you know, I love me a free concert. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> There's plenty, plenty of good music in those concerts, those recitals I've been. Um, also, through the Kaleidoscope, fall faculty show, uh, HCC's fashion programs are celebrating their 40th anniversary with a fall fashion show with all collections designed by fashion faculty. And that's Friday, December 8th, 7.30 p.m. at HCC Central Harmon Building. Uh, that's $25. And you can check out the post after the show for more information. And of course, tis the season for giving, so why not give to the HCC Foundation's I Love HCC fundraising campaign? Employees are encouraged to make a personal donation in support of HCC students through a payroll deduction, which is really the easiest and best way. They take it out. It's like you never had it. You don't miss it. Well, you know, five bucks, 10 bucks. What's two less Starbucks in your life, right? And hey, there'll be some drawings if you need some further incentives. So check our post after the show for more info. All right. And spring registration is open. That includes many masters. HCC's spring registration is ongoing and it includes the popular mini sessions during the winter break. And all courses are either in person, online or hybrid. So we have online anytime, no established class meeting times unless listed online on a schedule, which is meeting time is set and the course meets online hybrid, which is lecture class meets partially face to face and partially virtually. In-person, face-to-face courses with traditional meeting patterns at various campus locations, and hybrid lab, laboratory studio courses. And to learn more about HCC's programs, start dates, and options to cover costs, go to hccs.edu slash apply. And, you know, we're about to wrap up this show, but we have an entire week of great new shows next week, starting with Mental Health Monday. Dr. Sean Fitzpatrick of the Jung Center returns for his monthly visit and then a great week of segments, Tasty Tuesday, Small Business Wednesday, Film Friday. So check us out next week. I hope you all have a great weekend. Looking forward to it. And Montrose, welcome to the holiday season countdown. Same to you, Randy. <laughs>